tier zero drop shoes right off the bat as far as looks go. Not my favorite thing. I love them. It's obvious I got the uh, <clears throat> tier zero drop shoes on. I want to just try them out. Um, initial thoughts when I put them on and I just kind of walk around in them. Very comfortable. They have a ton of support, oddly enough, for being a barefoot shoe. And they have the Velcro, which, you know, right off the bat, as far as looks go, not my favorite thing. I think they're um, coming out with a version of these shoes that have laces, and I'm really stoked about that. Like, I will be wearing these things all the time when, uh, when they have laces. So working out in them, squatting in them, again, it's like, if you have the mobility to do that, which I definitely think you should build, um, it's not anything crazy. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna to front squat in these bad boys. And this is like really the only thing I'm gonna do for a warm up. So when I start squatting, when I start warming up, whether it's on the back or front, my form isn't ideal. You know, I'm trying to get depth. So I might end up leaning a little bit, but I'm trying to get my hip crease low and then standing. I'm not trying to be perfect up top and then find my way back down from there. Although I could, you know, and really fight. But what I'm looking for now is just getting to that bottom position. Oh yeah, these things feel great, man. I'm not even kidding you, they feel good. So eight at 185. All right, so um, one of the cool things about what Rogan is doing with the Mothership, which is his new comedy club, is that he's hiring only jiu-jitsu guys or MMA guys. So this is Zach. He is uh, purple, purple, belt. purple belt. Purple belt. 10th Planet Austin. Yeah, and he, sec he does security at uh, Mothership. It's fucking cool as hell. Yeah, I mean, uh, all the door guys are comedians. All the security guys are MMA guys, jiu-jitsu guys. Um, so it's really like he's hired people just like him. The, all, the, the, cauliflower, the cauliflower here. Yeah. It's Two important to see that. <laughs> I it's got him when I was cool, a white belt, so I had to keep going. Yeah, no, literally all the dudes in there that are security guards are not just like big jacked dudes. Yeah. They're all just guys who know yeah. how to kill. So. Yeah. 10th Planet Austin, if you're looking for some good training. <laughs> yeah, across the street from here, too. Right. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay. Set of two at 315. No belt, no sleeves, no heeled shoes, no friends. Only friend I have is you right here. The barbell and discs. All right, so uh, yeah, there you have it. That's kind of the the barefoot shoe review from from the tier, the new tier zero drop shoe. Um, I think I think the construction of these shoes, like I'm even wearing them now, is really great. Like I'm gonna walk around in these like regularly. Um, I'll probably just find myself lifting in them, to be honest. If 
I'll just get over the uh, the Velcro thing. Like I, I love them. Like it, it's very similar to the uh, the weightlifting shoe in that like I feel like this is constructed very well, and I get that feeling like immediately when I put the weightlifting shoes on and I get that feeling with these again the biggest criticism is like please just put on uh, shoelaces so this was like Aaron Horshig from uh, Squat University this is another one of his shoes and uh, I've heard that they're going to add in shoelaces um, I do think it's cool though to just once you've been squatting for a long time and you've been working on strength to kind of like add different games you can play with the strength so like for me it's like you know barefoot shoes or no heels or uh, no no knee sleeves, no uh, you know belt. Um, things like that can change your workups workout so much. You 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 really lower your expectations uh, and you keep your standards high and and you can see a lot of success with that. So this workout super easy ten eight six four two uh, and then I just did a little bit of cardio and then I got to get going, man. I got to pack some stuff uh, for this gig, which I'm really excited about. Um, a little bit nervous, but we've been rehearsing like crazy for it. Um, so it should be fun. All right. Here's the loadout. Who's the twin right here? Uh, not in here. Twin. Twin. And another twin right there. Firebird. Gibson Firebird. Telecaster. Epiphone Casino, which is what I will be playing. So it's cool ladies in their back um, like this. SG, Gibson cool SG, and then what's back. your other guitar, Marcus? Telly. Telly? Telly? Yep. Give it all to I didn't know Zach liked Young some golf? trap. We so good, I don't want to pass. Dear old daddy, rest his soul. I love my mom and oh heavy love. She tried so very hard. Oh. See, back in California, the gas would be what? Eight bucks a gallon right now? Not here. Hey, don't get me my wiener out. Marcus is drinking gas. Meat in a bag. Fucking America. Oh yeah. I can taste it with stress when it died. <laughs> Well, we made it. Because <laughs> then we go Brian, because he's going to be right here. Yeah, I'm going to be right here. And then James, I guess, will be Can we move this all the way to the end? Maybe it would just be nice to be uh, working. Sound check done, set up completely done. I think we're gonna start playing in about a half hour. Depending on how drunk people are, I don't know how long we're gonna play. Hopefully my voice can hold up, man. This is it's like a lot tougher than I thought. I, mean, I did a three hour gig on Wednesday, rehearsed two days in a row. My voice is kind of shot, but we'll see how it goes. Pressure. Look at him. I'm 
that's it. That was incredible, man. That was so fun. A lot of hard work. We, we rehearsed pretty hard for that set. A um, few mistakes, but everyone at the party came up to us and they were like, you blew us away. So I don't know many other fitness influencers that are working out for y'all and then going and playing gigs like this. So I appreciate you guys sticking around for this, man. Um, I want to see where this thing goes. You know, I'm keep doing it, keep on keeping on, keep doing these YouTube videos. Um, if you're still here, please subscribe. It means the world to me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Oh,